Good morning, my friends. Today it's another cold, gloomy day. A little bit of rain. I'm not sure if it's still raining out, but there's uh, uh, water on the pavement, so it shows that it was raining a little bit earlier today. So today it's Halloween, as all of you probably already know. And um, yeah, it's it's just like any other day. It's a pretty good Halloween day, I have to say. It's pretty like miserable outside. You know, that's kind of what you want for a Halloween day. You don't want something too sunny and nice and happy. The only thing though that would make this more Halloweeny is if uh, there was a lot more fog outside, and if there was a full moon also, that would be pretty cool. But alas, these things are not uh, happening at least right now. Maybe tonight. Definitely not a full moon. I think we're in um, uh, a waning moon. There's probably going to be a crescent moon tonight, which is also pretty cool. Nothing wrong with a good crescent moon. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about education. Education is one of those things that's very, uh, very relevant, especially in this current generation. Everyone seems to be uh, striving towards um, getting educated, so to speak. Whether or not they actually enjoy it is a completely different matter altogether. But people are, you know, very hell-bent on getting educated. In fact, I know a lot of people who go to college, pretty much a lot of people go to college or feel like they uh, have to go to college, which I think is one of the main uh, things that I have not issue with with college maybe I've done this topic before but I'm honestly I'm running out of ideas so I'm just gonna you know probably recycle the same topics for more videos um, there's this notion that you have to go to college right you have to go to college in order to get a job or just to earn a living um, I know a lot of people who go to college because they don't know what else to do really they'd be like oh yeah I took time off and then I didn't really know what to do and I got really bored so I went back to school and to me it's like um, you know I probably would want to go back to school at some point I don't think it's right for me right now I think for me it's like I really want to be there and I think that was the main problem when I first went to college is that I didn't even really want to be there I didn't feel like I needed to be there and if you feel like you don't want to be there, then don't be there. You know, you're an adult. You're not in high school anymore. This isn't fucking public school. You know, no one's going to write down uh, your name. No one's going to call your parents, say that you haven't been to class. You know, this is your life, right? Um, and, you know, so so many people are like, especially in the States, they'll go in like deep, deep debt just to, you know, pay for their college and all this shit just so they can... And it's not even for a degree that's really worth something. Like, honestly, like, not to be uh, too harsh, but it's like you have some of these kids who are like, oh, yeah, I work, like, uh, crazy shifts at Starbucks just to pay, be able to pay off my debt for college. And it's like, all right, what did you study in college? It's like, oh, yeah, liberal arts. It's like, why did you even go to college? What If, you, if it's so difficult and so horrible and you're getting a degree that basically no one really cares about, then why did you even do it in the first place? If you're going to college and you're like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, get an engineering degree or an accountant degree, then that's great. And if you work 10 hours, 10 hour overtime shifts, whatever, and you work a shitload at Starbucks and you get through the debt, then it's like, all right, that's admirable, right? Because you're actually getting a degree that's going to help you do something in life, whether you're going to become a doctor or a lawyer or something. And there's a lot of people who do that and because they have useful degrees they end up getting jobs that actually pay out those debts and that's a good thing but most of these people are studying liberal arts so they're studying uh like political economy or political science and like all this other shit that they're not even going to be using they may not even like it you ask them like do you like it it's like oh yeah it's okay it's something to do it's like what the fuck are you doing like like to me, I, I'm interested in a lot of these things that people go to school for. I'm not discrediting these things, but if you're um, busting your ass and, you know, getting deep in debt, specifically towards Americans, I would say, just to get this degree 
and then you have this degree that's basically useless for you and it's it's sad but it's like why did you even do it and like i don't understand like the mindset that goes through people's heads when they 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 basically spend their whole uh the half of their 20s doing something like this i don't believe in uh taking regrets but it's like i i don't understand the mindset i just don't really relate to it um that's why i kind of left because i didn't uh, even though I was in a position to be financially stable, I had parents, luckily, who had money to be able to afford education for me. Um, I still thought that, you know what, I'm not here for the right reasons. I'm not in college because I want to learn. I'm in college because I'm supposed to be in college. Or I have like these dreams, so to speak. And I think that's why a lot of people go to schools. They have these dreams of being an artist or, I don't know, they're being a historian i not i don't even think that's a dream but apparently it's it is um to be an expert in political science is also another uh, big dream for some people and then they they graduate and it's like all right they have a lot of knowledge but it's like it's not really practical for anything it's not really practical to to making money which is why they then blame the system uh the system didn't educate them it's like, all right, well, you chose not to learn about the system at all. I know a lot of people who uh, specifically hate capitalism as just a term, this blanket term for whatever whatever capitalism is, right? Um, they just hate it because it's, um, you know, what they've learned in books and whatnot. And it's like they don't actually know the system. They know about the critiques of it. They know about the how it uh, fucks over some people who work well, not some people, a lot of people who work in these uh, shitty minimum wage jobs, and yeah, they're right. But in terms, it's like, okay, we have the system. It's like you either uh, get an army together and risk your lives to overthrow the system, which I think most people in the first world will never even think of doing for the most part, because it's not that bad. Um, if you're not willing to die for your cause, then your cause is bullshit, and that's that's the reality of it. Um, you know, you can vote in some politicians who might have some good policies, and they might not. You know, it's all it's all up in the air. You don't really know if it's going to work or not. That's the problem with political science. It's not a science. It's uh, it's uh, it's theory. It's all hypothesis. None of it's actually like implemented that actually works it just kind of works and then we kind of just keep doing it and then you know people either are saying yeah this is perfect or people are like no no it's horrible it's the worst thing ever um and this is uh, gonna tie into some education because i think public education for the most part is pretty uh it's pretty flawed right you have so you have the capitalist system which is what we are all sort of um supposed to know about even though the average person who graduates from high school doesn't even know how to file their own taxes, which is a huge problem. Um, they don't know anything about stocks. They don't know anything about uh, ETFs. They don't know anything about bonds, uh, savings accounts. They don't know anything about corporate tax. I didn't know anything about that shit. I had to do my own research or I had to go take a business class. And guess what? The business class is also fucking bullshit. It's not even about... Uh, it's not, it's, it has nothing to do with how the financial world w works. It's a lot of just terms and uh, it's a lot of bu bureaucracy, kind of corporate stuff, which is not really what I was interested in when I took a business class. So let's take a, take a look at the public system. You have uh, high school, you're learning about chemistry, so you'll learn how to make elephants toothpaste. And then, uh, you know, you'll learn about Holden Caulfield and uh, how he's a fucking annoying brat, and uh, you can relate to him because you're a teenager. And then you have, um, you know, biology. You know how you don't even know much about how a human body works. You learn about how a frog's body works. You dissect a fucking frog. That's the that that's the chaos that happens in a public high school. You don't even learn actual medicine. See, the way I would set up a public education is you would first of all cut out chemistry. You don't need it. Like, if you're going to learn chemistry, do it in college because it's like it's a college level thing. You shouldn't really need to fucking do that. Math, I would definitely like cut down a little bit. It's not that important. It's important, but it's like, all right, you learn how to add, subtract, 
that's basically all you really need to know. Calculus and all this other shit is pretty much useless. Algebra, yeah, you need it for like business. And, you know, that's what I would replace. Like half of math would be just finance. Uh, you know, and, and I talk to people about this, about like how high schools should teach finance. And they're like, well, yeah, actually, like my high school had like a class one day where like a stock trader came in and told us about it. We had one, you had one fucking class about one of the most complicated things that people spend their entire lives trying to learn, trying to figure out, and they still don't even know what the fuck they're doing. So you have one class and you're supposed to all of a sudden know everything about the stock market or talk, know about finance. I remember I had one of those classes. I didn't know shit. All right, we have one class. It wasn't uh, set up in a way that actually teaches kids in a way that they understand. It was like these two stockbrokers who never fucking taught a class in their entire lives teaching kids about derivatives and we're just like uh okay like you know you need to we need to make a system that actually teaches kids about finance in a very practical and way so when they graduate from high school they basically have the knowledge of an mba that's basically not an mba but like you know something like a little bit lower we should you know the same way that we know uh, basic chemistry or we know about basic history u.s history or canadian history we should all know this shit and there's not a country in the world that actually teaches uh high school kids about finance or just kids in general about finance we have this like society that's built around capitalism money uh markets etc it's it literally the foundation of our society and we go through the public education system learning absolutely nothing about that but we know about elephant's toothpaste. We know about electrons and protons because that's very important to know when uh, trying to get a job or trying to survive in the real world. We know about Holden Caulfield. We know how to dissect Shakespeare. Uh, we know about, oh yeah, the, 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 the Louisiana Purchase. You know, that's very important to think to know. Um, so this is like one of the main things that I have a problem with. It's not the... The, the system of capitalism itself, it's that people don't even know anything about it when they graduate. They don't know how to actually survive in it, uh, which is the real problem with education. So anyway, that's my rant, and I hope you have a wonderful day.